Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am formerly known as Mommy Simmer and this is going to serve as a little update video as well. But um, now um, I have actually revamped my channel. I've chosen a new name, made some new art, all sorts of stuff. So my new name is Jessabo which is a combination of my first and last name. So, in case you can't already tell by either the Sims name on screen or the title of the video itself, I am doing a cast video of some of the cast from Maze Runner, or the Maze Runner, from the movie now. I have not actually read the book yet. I bought them and with the intention of reading them before I watched the movie because that's the way I prefer to do it, but I never did because... I just wasn't in the mood to read, and I was working on channel art and all sorts of stuff, so... Anyway, so first up here, we have actually got Thomas. Um, I look, like I said, I have not run the... Uh, read the books, excuse me. I have not read the books yet, so I don't know any... I googled and googled, but I could not find last names. Um, the only person that seemed to have more than one name was Teresa, and she was listed as Teresa Agnes, though it said at some point that she was actually... her name was actually Dee Dee, but I don't know. So I just... Um, I did make Teresa's last name Agnes. I do it off screen, actually. But um, the rest of them all just had their last name Runner because I, I, I don't know, you know, if you guys download them, you can always change their name yourself. I have not uploaded them yet. Um, I am going to. It sh I will um, do that very soon. But I also have another I just realized I never took that tattoo off of him. Oh, that blows. Huh. Well, at least I'll have time to fix that before I upload them to the gallery. But I will do that eventually. But I have something else in mind. Um, that has to do with the Maze Runner cast. So, <clears throat> anyway, so it was really, really hard to find clothing. Um, I actually had a really easy time with hair, but clothing was kind of hard. I should have taken the time, um, or taken a little more time to look for some, you know, kind of grungy clothing. I, I found some, but there's really kind of a, um lack. I mean, I searched Tumblr, I searched The Sim Resource, Mod The Sims, or excuse me, The Sims Resource, Mod The Sims, um, My Sims 4 blog. I searched all the big ones and it was, and then I even just resorted to Googling, but I could not find it anywhere. So I downloaded it what little bit I could find, but I just kind of gave up. So I did the best I could, but you know, I limited stuff to work with here. So yeah, this was me trying to find, I had downloaded a male um, lip thing, and I couldn't find it. It turns out it was actually in tattoos. And let me tell you, um, I'm going to go ahead and apologize ahead of time for, I think it's Albie, um, what I'm trying on different um, skin textures and facial overlays. There's a few times I accidentally try some female ones on him, and you can see the boobage outlines. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not realize that would happen, or I wouldn't have had his shirt off. So I am sorry for that. It's not, it's really not graphic, because it's on a male sim body. It doesn't look like, you know, giant naked breasts. So you should be fine, but just fair warning. Um, anyways, but I was having a hard time. I've got tons of facial overlays and skin retextures. But I cannot actually uh, <laughs> seem to, I had a hard time finding some good ones. Um, I do finally settle on some. Um, I, I don't remember if I gave them to all of the Sims, but anyways, in this video, what I actually end up doing, um, I do the everyday outfit on screen, and then I come back after I've done all of the others. They're all just kind of you know, basically variations of what the everyday outfit is, you know, with the shirt off, with, you know, jacket off, whatever. Anyways, we're moving on to Teresa here, and as you can see, her last name is currently Runner. That does change, um, but I do that off screen, so you don't see, I think you, when I go through the Sims at the end, you will see that. This was originally going to be two separate videos, because I thought it was going to be too long, even sped up, so you'll notice a kind of funny cut uh, between, I want to say, Albie and Minho. So, <clears throat> her hair, I actually was so pleased to find a good one because I, I think it was Stealthic, maybe, or Nightcrawler. Huh, I'm not sure. 
what do you know? And I go through finding, I find this really weird top, and I can't figure out <laughs> what it is and why it won't show up, so, because it's just this big red X, so. But in this video, I actually do Thomas, Teresa, Albi, Minho, Newt, and Chuck. So I do six of the cast members. Um, I thought about doing a few of the others, like Galley and such, but um, I hated Galley in the movie. I'm just going to, you know, point that out. I th that he was just... <laughs> I understand that, you know, he was kind of set in his ways and he was terrified of change, but he handled everything kind of douchily. So, and yes, I just made up a word. I'm sorry. But, so I didn't like him, so I just decided I wasn't putting him in there. Um, uh, nobody has any relations to each other. Uh, as far as I could tell, there none of them were related to one another. I'm sure that their faces are not perfect to what they are in the movies and such. But I, I did have pictures up for reference. You'll notice me pausing at several different intervals, especially between characters, to pull up pictures. But um, I think I did pretty well, and I'm happy with it. And I can't wait for the uh, build that I'm going to do. Uh, I don't think the building the actual maze is going to happen, but um, I'm thinking maybe the glade could be fun to build. So that's the thing that I'm kind of waiting on. Oh yeah, there's the red, big red X. You guys tell me if you know what that is, because it doesn't show up on the sim. It doesn't, you know, make whatever she's wearing disappear. You know, sometimes you'll get the the invisible body glitch if the if something's wrong, and I do get that eventually. Uh, I don't remember if it's on screen or not. I get that with a dress that I try on her. They always look too happy. If you notice me kind of pulling the corners of the mouth down there, they always look too happy when it randomizes me a sim. I always find that it, they look really incredibly happy, and sometimes that's okay, but it did not work for her. So, um, and as far as their clothes go, where I decided on that, yeah, you see me trying to click on that red X over and over again. Hmm, it was irritating. Um, it turns out that it's under swimwear I think is where it showed up but anyways I tried to get their um, clothing as close as I could to the actual pictures from the movie so that was uh, what happened there so excuse my sniffling we have we are um, as you all know we are actually going to be moving into a new home um, this originally started it's a very old home lots of character um, my grandfather is you know in his <sighs> He's either almost in his 60s or he's in his 60s. I can't remember, but um, when he originally moved on to the land that we all live on, because um, we live here, my parents live next door, and my grandparents live um, up the hill behind us. When they he originally moved here as a child, and this house was already here, it had been built by the previous owner, so it's a really old, lots of character house. Now it only had two bedrooms, and I have two children, so that wasn't going to work. But the bedrooms were huge, so we ended up being able to turn one of the bedrooms into two, and it all kind of uh, oh, and we've moved on to Albie here, by the way. This is basically me just sitting here and talking for 15 minutes about nothing, but um. Anyways, we are also, you know, we're, we've been cutting the grass and blowing all the leaves that have built up since um, my granny passed away because that was originally her house and uh, she moved in with us for the last uh, week of her life before she passed. Um, so lots of leaves had built up and everything and we've been cleaning that up and cutting the grass and all of this so we have got bugs and pollen and all sorts of stuff stirred up so I think I'm having an allergy attack. But yeah, uh, I think I just, <laughs> yeah. I was having some issues finding a decent skin for him, let me tell you. Thankfully, since this is sped up, you only really catch a peek, so. <clears throat> Albie, I found to actually be one of the harder ones. I couldn't get his, like, the fa shape of his face the way I wanted it. Nothing really seemed to work. So. Huh, where are we going? I don't remember what we are doing. We're, I know we're trying to pick an overlay. Oh! That's called the Michael Jackson treatment there, and I know that's probably offensive to someone. I'm sorry. But I'm actually in a really good mood. I am, um, other than, you know, a little sniffly from the uh, pollen in the air, I'm actually feeling great. My kids are in the bed asleep. My dog's asleep. My cat's asleep. And I've been able to just sit and play The Sims for quite some time. And I'm hoping to be able to go ahead and do a build, too, because that would be awesome. So 
Um, I hope you guys like the new channel name change that I have done. Um, I just, when I picked Mommy Simmer, it really, I thought it was cute and clever. And about maybe a month after I picked it, I realized that I absolutely hated it. So, I finally just decided that that's what I was going with. I, or, I mean, that I was going to change it, that I couldn't take it anymore. I hope you guys don't mind. I know some people really don't like uh, like it when people change their YouTube names, but that's just what works for me. So, um, I won't be Twitch streaming for a little while beca just because i um, finding time to do so. It's, you know, I'm recording this at 10 minutes to midnight on... Um, well, it's currently June 4th. It'll be June 5th at, in 10 minutes. But um, I hardly, you know, when I, f when I do find time to do stuff like this, it's in the middle of the freaking night. We're trying to pack and get ready to move. We're supposed to move by the end of the month. And, yeah, we're only moving directly ahead of where we live now, but still. So we've moved on here. This is actually Minho. And uh, eyebrows were a pain in the butt, too. But yeah, I uh, when I do start live streaming again, I will um, let you guys know because I, it will be on a new channel. I do still have my Mommy Simmer channel, but you can't change your username on there. I do already have the new channel um, created. I have not streamed on it yet. It will probably be after I move because once we move in, we've got to do um, what you call it. We've got to have uh, Charter come out and move our internet over and everything. So, uh, Minho was pretty hard too. His face really, I, I had trouble with his as well. So, I, I, I'm still not like Albie's face and Minho's face. I'm not happy with. I'm not entirely happy with them. They work, but I'm not entirely happy. So. <clears throat> Hmm, let's see here. Sorry to go silent on you there. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I already said I was really happy with the hairs. Uh, and most of them actually are not custom content hairs. Uh, Teresa's was. But the other ones I think are just um, actual EA made hairs. So, you know, that worked out pretty well. Eyebrows were a bit of a pain in the butt to get them just right to an actual person. Um... I guess I need to download some more custom content eyebrows, but the problem is, is I usually download from S Club, and at some point, the last time I downloaded, I went through and I downloaded all their eyebrows because I love them, and I don't know which one, but one of them broke my game. I couldn't, it wouldn't open at all. Um, I did it trial and error, started removing stuff, you know, f I started doing it one by one, and it was just taking far too long. I've got hundreds of custom content items in my game. And so I moved, removed all of S Club stuff at once because I separate my stuff by in, into folders for each creator or website or whatever. So I removed all of uh, S Clubs and my game was fixed. So I don't know which one it was, but <clears throat> oh, and as far as their traits and their aspirations go, I was kind of limited because I haven't read the books, and I'm guessing that the books will probably give me more of an insight into the characters themselves more than the movie did so I kind of didn't have a whole lot to go on um, so I just kind of picked randomly so I hope that you guys don't mind that but if so I'm sorry so oh and you guys like I said I'm thinking I'm going to build the glade next you know it'll have nice uh, the highest height walls around it with some nice concrete maybe some ivy stuff like that um, I don't know that I'll do any parts of the maze but I was thinking I could at least get one of the biggest lots and make the glade and I, maybe as a residential lot, or I could do it both as a residential lot and like a park. So I'm not sure, but if I destroy the park in, a, in a Willow Springs, or maybe when that new world comes out, I bet there will be a nice big lot on it, um, I could upload one that's residential, one that's commercial. Though I'm thinking about playing with these characters, so... I don't know if I'm going to upload them yet because I'm thinking about playing with them and I was wondering what you guys might think about a series with them. Um, I haven't thought any deeper than that or if it would be some sort of a challenge like the Hunger Games challenges we've seen and stuff. I'm really not sure. 
maybe just a survival challenge, you know, you don't have enough beds or, you know, the only way you have food is if you do it yourself. I'll make sure to put it, I remember in the, I, I know I saw in the movie a nice pond, put one of the fishing ponds that you can get, places to grow veggies and stuff, you know, it could just be kind of a survival thing. And there's still, because I only made six sims, oh, and we are on Newt here. Um, I really liked him. Um, he was one of, of course, I liked Teresa and Thomas, yes. But honestly, out of all of them, Newt and Chuck were my two favorite characters. I cried when Chuck died, guys. That was horrible. But he was just, he was, I mean, he was so cute and so loyal and courageous. And he was like the youngest glader there was. But, um... Yeah, tell me how you guys feel about maybe doing a little survival challenge to see how, uh, you know, just, I don't know, just kind of see if they, you know, make them survive on their own. There's two extra, there's still two empty spots, so there could be, you know, some children made, or we could have daily challenges for the Sims, or weekly challenges for the Sims, and, you know, some of them could be kind of dangerous, where they could die and stuff. Uh, oh, and by the way, I did make Chuck as an adult. I did not make it, I almost made him as a teen or a child, but I did change my mind on that. So, it just didn't work for me. <clears throat> so... Yeah. Lots of comments, please. Let me know what you think. Let me know, hey, this is a great idea. You should do weekly challenges. Um, thin out the herd. And, you know, if people die, I could always go into the, go onto the, um, the Maze Runner Wikia and add some other characters that I haven't actually met yet. Oh, and I did forget to do Chuck's, um, yeah, I stopped the recording and then realized that I had to do his, uh, traits so this part so it's not quite as sped up as the others that's why it's kind of all you can see my mouse moving around checking the website I just finally had to just pick some random stuff so that is all of the characters there um yeah I guess that's it so you guys just uh comment like subscribe uh let me know what you think about doing a nice uh let's play or a speed build of the glade or whatever and I'll see you guys next time Bye.